Welcome to the third in a series of videos based on three workshops designed for students at FST at the University of Westminster. These three one-hour workshops are designed to help students with making effective use of iPad and mobile technologies for study in a range of ways, including note-taking and collaborating, research and annotating, and providing digital evidence of learning. In this workshop, we will focus on the ways in which iPad can be used to create digital evidence of learning using different apps and cloud services that are readily available. Remember, you can pause the video at any time to reflect on your own use of technologies and consider how the way you study can be enhanced. The aim of this third student workshop is to identify ways in which mobile technologies can be used for creative evidence of learning. We will explore ways in which you can take a range of workflows and be creative and produce high quality evidence of your learning and understanding within your coursework. What are the benefits of using digital tools to create evidence of learning? A simple advantage is that all digital work can be editable and different versions can be saved. Working with digital tools therefore becomes more efficient, especially if you choose to work using cloud services. Cloud services offer great advantages to work in a more collaborative way within and beyond FST. Digital tools available on your iPad can encourage you to demonstrate your learning beyond text. Combining text with images, video, audio, hyperlinks and other exciting assets. Most importantly of all, iPad can help you to become more creative. Why the emphasis on creativity? There's a learning model called Bloom's Taxonomy, designed to promote higher forms of thinking such as analysing and evaluating concepts rather than just remembering facts, which is akin to rote learning. There are different levels and different ways of demonstrating your learning. Just because you can repeat or regurgitate something is no indication that you understand it. Let's explore a series of different workflows. Everything starts in Blackboard. You might be given a task, you browse online, and you write your essay. It could be that you have your task in Blackboard, you browse online, and you might then use Word, Excel or PowerPoint, submit it via Turnitin, and then it is assessed. Nowadays we have more tools available to us using different platforms. We have the Microsoft platform, the Apple platform and the Google platform. And we could use any of these and submit final work to Blackboard. In this workflow, the original task in Blackboard prompted students to set up a Padlet board. They all browsed online. They then used cloud services to collate their work and submitted it onto Blackboard. In this scenario, some of the students preferred writing and some preferred word processing and some preferred browsing online. We're playing to people's respective strengths. Again, everything is shared via Padlet and submitted via the cloud services to Blackboard. 
Although maybe it's not just the work that is submitted to Blackboard, maybe what is submitted here is simply a hyperlink to the work that is held in Clap Services. In this example, students work together in Padlet, they then browse online, and they use more creative tools, such as creating a digital movie in iMovie, or creating a multimedia resource in Explain Everything. Both of these can be shared using cloud services and submitted to Blackboard. This model is slightly more complex in that the creative work produced in iMovie and Explain Everything might be uploaded to YouTube. And from YouTube, the hyperlink is shared to Blackboard. The hyperlink to the YouTube video could generate a QR code. In this example, we have students creating digital video and rich media, and they submit it not straight to Blackboard, but they share it online. And because it's online, we have a community of other users who are able to access it, and more importantly, contribute to it. It could be that one of the people that contributes to the work, and it could be on a wiki, was one of the people who set up the original website. In conclusion, iPad is a very powerful tool that enables you to show what you know in a myriad of ways. Mobile technologies by their very nature, encourage collaboration via cloud services, web pages, wikis, and social media. There are times when work should be saved in a secure walled garden such as Blackboard. However, we live and interact online. We lead globally interconnected lives. We learn and benefit from others who have gone before us and shared their learning and their knowledge and ideas online. There is great potential for learning and collaborating online with others in ways we had not considered possible. Transforming learning is not a single event in time. It is an ongoing, constantly refining process. If you've been inspired by these workshops, why not consider becoming a digital ambassador at FST? You can support other students on your course, learn from other like-minded students from other departments, and help to shape the change in learning to prepare for tomorrow.